Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and the continuing with the AWS CLI course. This is probably the last video of the series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we use AWS CLI to interact with AWS IAM, which is identity and access management, right? So I have actually created a file called video content. Yeah. So these are the thing I'm going to show you in this video, like how to create a group, how to create a user, adding user to group, creating initial passwords and secure secret keys, right? And then we'll move on to attaching a policy to group. Then we'll see how to create a role, how to create instance pol instance profile, and how do we associate instance profile to a role, all right? So let's get started and we'll clear the screen. So I'll just keep referring to this again and again, all right? So let me just cap this out once more. All right, so first thing, how to create a group. So AWS, I am, right? Create group. And the option it requires is, obviously you should have guessed it by now, is group name. So I'll create a group called, say, my first group, right? And that's it. And you can see the group is created. If you get this JSON output, you know that you have run the command successfully. Great. So now let's create a user. Again, AWS IAM, create user. And again, it will require the username. And I'll say first user. All right. You can see the user is created, but let me just, I mean, explain you a bit. So when you create a user from AWS console, right, you get a password. And if, you, if you're creating a programmatic user, you get access keys, right? But in this case, you see, you didn't get anything because that's what we are going to do later. All right. So just FYI. All right. So the third thing which we wanted to do was add user to group. All right. So let's see AWS IAM. So that would be common and see add and if i just tab you can see add user to group and it will require the group name which was my first group and also the username right so username was first user all right so we didn't get any errors that means we have successfully uh, added user to the group now next thing which we are going to do is create the initial password so if you are going to create a user who is going to actually log into aws console right ui so you would need username and password and if you're going to create a user which will only have programmatic access like access keys only right so we are going to create access keys as well so i'll create both in this case so first let's do aws iam and to create user password is i think create login profile yeah i'm just forgetting login profile and this will require username so first user and password so i can set any password say password at the rate one two three right let's make key p capital let's do this and you can see you have actually created username and password for your first user right all right so now if my user only wants to have programmatic access right does not want to have access to the aws console so in that case we'll do aws iam create and there's something called create access keys, right? And again, this will require just the username, first user. If you hit, hit enter, you can see you get the secret access key and access key ID, both. Don't worry, I'll be deleting all this stuff after I record this video. So there's no security concern over here. All right, next thing, we want to do is attach a policy to the group so you would want your group to have some permissions right or the user you're creating should have some permission so since we have added a user to the group we are just going to attach the policy to the group 
and let me clear the screen and for that I'm actually going to do AWS I am list policies and I'm going to grab power user because we need the ARN of the policy so in this case I'm not uh, attaching any inline policy I'm just attaching the AWS provided policies will take some time and there it is so there are quite a few policies with power user but the one I'm looking for is this one power user access all right so now let's attach policy to group so aws i am attach group policy hyphen hyphen group name uh, someone is just pinging me one sec all right group name was my first group and policy arn would be this the policy which we want to attach right let's hit enter and if we don't get any error we have successfully attached the policy to the group so now your user first user will actually have the power user access so power user is the user which has all the access as administrator except the IAM so it, power user does not have access to IAM all right moving on so now we move on to roles so for user this we are done now we move on to roles so let me just get out the file again what we wanted to do so we wanted to create a role create an instance profile and associate instance profile to a role right and I think I missed one thing we'll be attaching policy to a role as well right so that's one thing I've missed all right so to create a role AWS IAM create role and obviously it will take role name as input but it also since I mean okay let's get back let me just clear this out let me clear the screen and I want you to imagine when you what you do when you create role from AWS console right so you go on to create role from the console you select the type of role right so suppose if I want to create an EC2 role or if I want to create a lambda role right so you can actually select the service there right but here you don't have that kind of uh, facility like that Django right so to do that to suppose I want to create an EC2 role in this video I'll actually be creating an EC2 role so to do that you actually have to provide an assumption file which is basically can I mean it's a JSON file which tells uh, the role or which tells AWS that this role will actually is going to assume this particular service right I think I'm clear so you by giving that uh, JSON or the trust JSON you tell the AWS that the role which you are growing, going to create is going to assume that particular service. So here actually I actually have a trust policy JSON file. You can easily get this on uh, internet, right? So you can see I'm going to tell AWS that my role which I'm going to create is going to assume EC2 service. So ec2.amazonaws.com, right? So this is the principle and action is assume role right so this is what we are going to do so in order to create a role what you're going to do is AWS IAM create role role name so let's say first role and this will also take another argument called assume role policy document and that will be file colon colon trust policy Come on, take it. Oh. Trust policy dot JSON. And there is an error. Okay. Malformed policy document. Okay, so there is some issue in my policy document. So I'll just pause the video and fix that okay so my json i think is valid the issue is that i was doing file colon colon instead it's just file colon and double slash Stupid. okay let's hit enter 
and yes so my json was valid all right i spent actually like five minutes figuring out what's wrong with my json okay so my role is created cool after the role is created the next thing which we wanted to do was attach a policy to the role right so i missed that step in my text file but this is what we are going to do so aws i am and i'm going to list policies again and this time i'm going to grab for s3 full so i just want the policy which has s3 full access I got the ARM, right? I just copy this ARM. I'll clear the screen and AWS IAM attach role policy hyphen hyphen role name was first role and hyphen hyphen policy ARM. So now this role can actually have full access to S3. All right. And if you want to verify that, you just, you can do the AWS IAM list attached policies, uh, list attached role policies, sorry, not just policy, role policies. And you need to give the role name, which is first role. So you can see this role actually has the S3 full access policies. All right, so now we have attached i mean we've created a role an ec2 instance role and we have attached the policy which is s3 full access now we are going to create an instance profile so this is the step which is additional step you have to do when you're doing things with aws cli when you do it from the console you don't have to actually have to create any instance profile it happens for you automatically in the background right but with aws cli you actually have to create an instance profile because when you attach a role via CLI, you don't actually attach a role, you attach an instance profile to any EC2 instance, right? So AWS IAM, and it's very simple to create an instance profile, very simple, straightforward. Create instance profile, and it will just take the name of instance profile. And let's say, uh, first profile, right? And again, we need to add the role to the instance profile, right? So AWS, I am add role to instance profile, role name, first role, instance profile name, first profile. Hit enter and you're done. So at this point, AWS IAM via CLI is done. So now if you want to launch an EC2 instance, right? So AWS EC2, you say run instance, right? And here you can actually provide instance profile, something like that. Let me uh, double check that. Okay, so it's... Hmm. Associate or oh, AWS IAM. So when you do EC2 run AWS IAM, not AWS EC2, sorry. EC2 run instances and you then you actually have to provide AMI and stuff like that. And then I think there is associate public address no not associate public address uh, it's something like associate or other associate yeah here it is so associate you can see uh, over here associate I am instance profile right so this is what you actually Use to attach a role to an EC2 instance uh, via AWS CLI. And I think there should be something when you actually run an instance, and you can, uh, let me see, run instances, what all we have, associate public IP, there should be something. 
should be some I am instance profile. Yeah, I was wondering. So I am instance profile. You can create while you want to run an instance using AWS EC2 uh, CLI, right? Or you can attach the role or the instance profile to an already existing uh, instance. So you can do both, right? And you can do both from the console as well. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video. We covered a lot of scenarios. Uh, I hope you find this helpful uh, in your day-to-day -day work. Yeah, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.